Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a vertical cylinder of base diameter 45 mm and axis length 60 mm, which is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and is inclined to VHP at an angle of 50 degrees and is passing through the center point of the top face of the cylinder. We need to draw the development of the lateral surface of the cylinder. So the two things we need to observe here is the type of the solid and the cutting plane condition. So the type of the solid here is a cylinder and the cylinder resting condition is such that it is resting on its base and it is having a diameter of 45 mm and the axis or the height of the cylinder is 60 mm. The next condition is the cutting plane. The cutting plane is inclined to HP at an angle of 50 degrees and is perpendicular to the VP and is also passing through the center point of the top face of the cylinder. So with this condition, we need to draw the initial position of the cylinder, cut it by the cutting plane and then show the development of the remaining position of the cylinder. So now let us see how to draft the solution for this problem statement. So let us begin by constructing the XY line of thickness 0.18 mm. So draw a line of any arbitrary length and let that be the xy line so now select a line of thickness 0.13 mm and then you can just enter the diameter of the circle as given in the problem statement which is 45 mm and then we do have a circle ready which is having a diameter of 45 mm unlike the other solids we do not have any sharp corner points for this particular solid so what we can do is we can just assume around eight points on the circumference of this circle and then plot the same eight points to show the development so for that select the line option so first let us draw the horizontal diameter and the vertical diameter of the circle so go to the smart dimension and you can just show the diameter either the vertical or the horizontal so just show the diameter then go for the line option again and next now let us divide this circle into eight equal parts so enter the angle as 45 degrees so the radii of a 45 uh, mm diameter circle will be equal to half of it which is 22.5 and then the angle will be 45 degrees next again it is 135 degrees towards the left hand side so use the extend to next option and extend these two lines at an angle of 45 degrees passing through the center of the circle and now you can just see that we have divided the circle into eight equal parts so now let us draw the projections from each of these points in the circumference and intersect that with the xy line So this completes the top view of the cylinder which is having a base diameter of 45 mm and in the front view we need to show the actual height of the cylinder which is equal to 60 mm as given in the problem statement so select a line of thickness 0.13 and select a center line and from here that is the center point of the circle draw the line representing the axis having the measurement equal to 60 mm then select a continuous line again so from the left hand side and the right hand side draw the front view of the cylinder which appears to be a rectangle. So go to the smart dimension. So the height of the cylinder here is 60 mm. So now go for the line option again or better use extend to next extend these projection lines from the xy line to meet the top face of the cylinder so now as you can see here we have got these points so let us do the annotation to complete the annotation in the top on the front view select the text option let us begin by annotating the reference line as x and y and the planes as vp and hp Now 
now let us annotate the points on the circumference of the circle so let us start from this point so let us call this point as a this is point b c d e f g and h so these are the eight salient points on the circumference of the circle o is the axis point at the top face o1 is the center point at the bottom face of the cylinder so in the front view this is o dash and this point is o1 dash and next here we have got the point e dash so since it is having uh, both the bottom and the top face as the circles itself we can call this as e dash or e1 dash and this point to be e dash and also this is d1 dash inside the bracket it is f1 dash whereas here it is d dash and inside the bracket f dash and next coming to this line so this is the point b1 dash and this is the point h1 dash inside the bracket so this line here will be b dash inside the bracket h dash coming to this point this is a1 dash here and then here on the top face it is a dash so this completes the annotation of the front and as well as the top view of the cylinder which is having a base diameter of 45 mm and the axis of height 60 mm so now it is uh, time for us to construct the cutting plane so let us see how to construct the cutting plane so first as per the condition that is given to us in the problem statement the cutting plane must pass through the center of the top face so the center of the top face is nothing but the point where the axis is terminating so this is the center point of the top face and from this face it is making an angle of 50 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane so let me go for the line option select the cutting plane line and from the center let me draw a line inclined at an angle of 50 degrees with respect to the hp go for the extend to next and let me extend this cutting plane in such a way that it is intersecting all these edge lines these are all not the true edge lines but the imaginary lines for our understanding so these are all the points that we need to highlight so let us just go for the angle between show the angle of the cutting plane with respect to the xy line so this is equal to 50 degrees so this is the top face of the cylinder which is the center point of the top face of the cylinder so from here we need to highlight select a line of thickness 0 0.50 select a continuous line so from this point o dash highlight the top face of the cylinder the remaining part also the bottom of the cylinder and this part on the edge a1 dash and a dash similarly from the point of intersection of the cutting plane on the respective edges let us annotate these points later by the numbers first just darken the edges so this completes the front view so now what we can do is we can uh, understand the points of intersection of the cutting plane so first let us take a1 and a and let us tell that it is interacting at the point 1 dash next we have got b1 so it is 2 dash here after b1 we have got the edge um, c c1 which is again on this axis line so we will call this as point 3 so this is 3 dash and next we have got uh, the edge d1 dash and d dash so that is a part of this which is uh, 0.4 so this is 4 dash and next after d we have got e so let us call this as 0.5 and this is 5 dash after e we will come back to the next point that is f so this is 6 dash and next after f we have got the point g which is again on the center line and that point will be say 7 dash 
and next we have got h point h and here it will be 8 dash so 2 dash 8 dash are the common points 3 dash and 7 dash are the common points 4 dash and 6 dash are the common points so just align them properly indicating that they are all the points of intersection of the cutting plane with the respective straight edges so now let us select again the circle option of thickness 0 0.50 in the same center just redraw this circle of diameter 45 mm this is because all the points are exactly on the same edge lines so now we need to draw the development so how do we draw the development first we need to cut open the cylinder so to cut open the cylinder it will be a rectangle so the rectangle will be having a height of 60 mm coming to the base of the rectangle it is nothing but the circumference of this particular circle so what we can do is let us go for the line option again select a line of thickness 0.13 so from this reference line let us draw a line of length which is equal to the circumference of the circle so the circumference of the circle is given by pi into d so 45 into 22 by 7 will be the length of this line followed by the height which is equal to 60 mm so this is you can see that it is matching so this completes the initial cut section of the cylinder so dimension this is equal to pi into d and this is equal to the height of the cylinder so this is the initial cut section and now we need to locate the points a b c d e f g and h so we know that we have divided the circle into eight equal parts so what we can do is we can just have the value of the first part say go to the line option so from here let us draw a line of length 141.43 divided by 8 because we have divided the circle into 8 equal parts so the first part will be having a length of say 17.679 mm so we'll complete this rectangle so now we will just select this line and then we'll go for offset so the distance will be equal to 17.679 mm so now you can just see that we have divided this into eight equal parts one two three four five six seven and eight so this is how you can create the eight equal parts so now we'll annotate so this point is say capital a and this will be a1 that is the bottom face of the cylinder so let us call this as a1 so these are all the true edges so let us annotate them by the capital letters itself and this is b1 followed by c c1 d and then d1 and then we have got the point e e1 followed by f f1 g and then g1 h h1 back to point a a1 so these are the eight equal parts of the cylinder so now select the line option select a line of thickness 0.13 so from the point one draw a line parallel to the xy line and intersect the corresponding edges so this is point one on a and a1 and next from two let us draw a line perpendicular to the uh, vp and parallel to the hp so this is uh, again intersecting at bb1 next uh, we have got the point from cc1 which is exactly here so that is the point three is on cc1 uh, four five six so are all on these points okay so seven is also on this point so we need to extend the same line to get the point eight at uh, 
h so this is how we get the points so now let us go for the line option select a line of thickness point 50 so from a1 this is the point 1 so just zoom in you get the point of intersection and next we have got the point 2 so we need to use a curve option here so before that let us mark the points on c d e f and g and also the point 1 to a1 followed by the base of the cylinder so now let us go for the curve option select the curve so this point this point and then followed by c similarly g h and a so this completes the development of the cylinder let us annotate the points so this is point one here and one here again we have got the point two on bb1 this is point two three is here followed by point four point five six and then seven so you can just see that all these points are on the top face of the cylinder next we have got the point eight which is along two and then back to one so this is the development so we can indicate development in the region telling that this is the development of the cylinder so this is how we complete the development of the cylinder which is having a circle of base diameter 45 mm and uh, height of 60 mm and is intersected by the cutting plane in such a way that it is passing through the center point of the top face of the cylinder and is inclined at an angle of 50 degrees to the horizontal plane and is perpendicular to the VP. So the key point here is the rectangle will be having a base of length which is equal to the circumference of the circle which is nothing but the perimeter that is pi into d and each part is divided by uh, the circumference divided by the part 8 because we have divided the circle into 8 parts. It can also be done by dividing the circle into 16 parts but however this is sufficient to show the development of the cylinder. With this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement. Thank you all for watching.